Hello everyone, I'm Paul McGuire Grimes. Tom Holland struck gold with his Spider-Man trilogy for Marvel, and he looks to have another big franchise on his hands with the adaptation of the wildly successful video game Uncharted. It's in theaters, and I want to talk about it. This is Paul's trip to the movies. Tom Holland stars as Nathan Drake, who loves an adventure. He and his brother were orphaned as kids, but his brother eventually left his side for his own adventure. Since then, Nathan has become a bartender and pickpocket. His life takes a new spin when notorious treasure hunter Victor Sully Sullivan, who's played by Mark Wahlberg, asks Nathan to join him on this globe-trotting trek to find the missing treasures of Ferdinand Magellan. Now, Nathan can't refuse the offer, but hot on their trail is Antonio Banderas as Santiago Mancado. The house of Mancado in Spain is thought to have lost the treasure, and now Santiago wants what he believes is rightfully his. Also along for the ride are Sofia Ali and Tati Gabriel. Director Ruben Fleischer makes this a family-friendly adventure in the vein of Raiders of the Lost Ark and National Treasure. It's a new and younger audience for him from his previous movies like Venom, Zombieland, and Gangster Squad. Now, I've never played the video game, but that certainly didn't get in the way of my enjoying this mo the movie version, as the writing team and Fleischer set out to expand their audience outside of just gamers. Now, there's really a cinematic quality uh, as Holland and Wahlberg and the cast really jump from one location to the next, taking on massive stunts and rooftop chases all along the way, while trying to solve these little clues and puzzles, hoping to find Magellan's secret treasure. Now, if anything, hopefully this will pique kids' interest in learning about artifacts, solving puzzles, and the history behind Magellan's real adventures. Or maybe they'll just play the video game all over again. Now, part of the enjoyment for me uh, of Uncharted was, comes from just having Tom Holland and Mark Wahlberg playing off one another. They get to play into their brands of combining the action with plenty of humor. Now, they don't play brothers, but there's certainly a big brother, a little brother uh, rapport between them. And I noticed a real distinct shift for Tom Holland in his approach with Nate Drake by varying his movement and energy away from Peter Parker and Spider-Man. Antonio Banderas always makes for a really great villain without ever becoming too cartoony or one-noted. Uncharted doesn't present anything groundbreaking for the genre, but Fleischer keeps the energy up with a really solid build and momentum. You know, it starts off with the kind of street smart logic and these sleight of hand tricks, leading up to an all out crazy, special effects heavy climax that just defies logic. Now, fans of the game are, is, will recognize this over the top, stunt heavy plane escape as well. And of course, there are twists and reveals to keep the younger audience on their toes. I'm giving Uncharted 3.5 out of 5 ticket stubs. If you like my review today, click subscribe on my YouTube channel. I got to interview Tom Holland, Mark Wahlberg, Sophia Ali, and Tati Gabriel. So you'll definitely want to check out those interviews. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Paul's Movie Trip. And then go to my website, paulstriptothemovies.com, for even more reviews. Thank you so much for watching my review of Uncharted. This is Paul's Trip to the Movies.